In Back of Me is a property we made $25,000 on without ever buying it ourselves or using any of our own money. We wholesaled this deal and we actually got this deal over 10 other people that were on the appointment when we were trying to negotiate and get the deal done. And I want to show you guys exactly how we got this deal over every other 10 of investors that were looking at the property itself. But before we do that, our investor that bought this property from us is at the tail end of the renovation. And I want to show you guys the before and after. Let's go check out the work. They did such a good job and they switched a ton of different things around. This room that we're sitting in right now used to just be a random room. Now it's a bedroom. As you see, they added a closet here. In order to make a bedroom an actual bedroom, you need a couple things. You need the right square footage. You also need a window and a closet. So they added one more bedroom here. This ended up bumping up the ARV, which is the after repair value of the property, which allowed them to get more money on the deal on the back end. So this is genius. Dang, bro. Dude, this looks like a whole new kitchen. Before, right here used to be a wall where the stove was. They made a whole open concept and I'm assuming this is probably going to be the living room now, which was the old living room. So everything was kind of blocked off. They made a real big open concept kitchen. That's what people like now. People like open concept. They wanna be able to hang out with their family in the kitchen while things are cooking and also watch the football game in the living room and have conversations without a wall in between you, right? So that's essentially what happened. They did such a freaking good job. This is the master bedroom. This is a dope master bedroom. As you guys can see, it's massive for one. There's one really cool thing here though. They have this big walk-in closet. Now, if you guys know Victoria, my wife, she would love a walk-in closet like that because she got all the shoes. Now, here's one of the coolest things about this master bedroom itself. It's actually connected to a master bathroom, which is dope. You don't have to walk downstairs or go down a whole entire big hallway in the middle of the night to go pee. You could literally just get right out of bed and go pee. So let's check this master bathroom out. Dang, bro, this tile, I really, really like this tile. This tile is beautiful. And as you can see, they're putting a double vanity here. They still have to do all the finish work. They gotta put the vanity itself here and connect it and all that stuff. But a double vanity yeah. is dope. For me and my wife, we need two sinks. While she's out getting ready for date night, I just need to go brush my teeth or something. And with one sink, we're like bumping into each other. So having two sinks is dope. But here's the deal, this thing used to be a bedroom. And instead, they turned it into a big bathroom bathroom, which is going to help out the ARV as well. And downstairs is another little secret room that is another bedroom. So instead of this property being a three bed, one bath, they made it into a four bed, two bath. And that bumped up the ARV like crazy. Now this renovation is dope, but the cooler part is how we got the deal. So let me show you guys how we got this deal over 10 other people. Okay. So I want to talk about two different things right now, how we found the lead and how we got the contract over everybody else. So we found the lead through our VAs, our virtual assistants, as you guys probably know if you've been watching our channel. They go out and they find all of our leads, cold calling and texting, that's how we got this deal. We got this deal under contract literally two years ago, and then we ran title and we were trying to get the deal done. We had our buyer lined up and everything, and title ended up being clouded because there was a tenant in the property who took the seller to court. So throughout that whole entire time, the seller didn't want to hang on with us and we ended up falling out of contract. But my VAs kept following up. Literally, this is like an automated system we have. Follow up gets you like all your deals. So we followed up with this lead for literally like over a year. And then we come back and my team sets me up on an appointment for the second time to get this contract. And as we get here, there's 10 other people trying to get the deal just like me. So here's what I did. Walked the property really quick. I already had a relationship with this guy as well because we were talking to him like two or three years ago. And I'm just like, like, man, you know, I'm really not in the business to get into like these bidding wars and stuff like that. You know, I don't know these other guys. I don't know if they're super serious, if they've ever done deals before, if they know what the heck they're doing. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I know a lot of times there's these people out here that just don't know what the heck they're doing. And it's fine because I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning too. But here's the deal. I'm not here to get in a bidding war with them. So here's what we're going to do. This is called an escalation clause. This is kind of like an informal type of escalation clause. I told them, I'm like, hey man, I will come up $5,000 over any of these other 10 guys as long as they are valid buyers and they prove to you that they've done deals before and that allowed us to get the deal. So I told them, yes, if you screenshot me the offer and they're valid and they've done deals before and I can see that they own property, then I will come $5,000 over them. And that's exactly how we landed the deal. Some guy was like, well, here's my offer at 240, literally texted him the whole entire thing. The seller ended up sending me over that offer. I verified that this guy was actually real. We came up to 245, boom, we got the deal done. That is the sauce. Don't be sharing this video with everybody because that's some stuff that I don't share with no Nobody. And if you're in my area, I'm sorry because I use this strategy all the time. But now you know the secret sauce. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.